Welcome back to Nier Automata. This loading screen here, everything is so in-world because we saved our data at the vending machine, so when we load up, we come back out through it. Anyway, welcome back. Uh, when we last left off, we just reported to HQ that we found some really humanoid and anime-looking machines. I don't think we actually have an objective right now. Yeah, no. Usually there would be something in the little area on the left there, right? But there's nothing right now. So I was thinking that maybe we could do some of them right. Because if we look at the vending machine here... The lost equipment. No, not that. <laughs> this one. So apparently, we have access to this already. It's just that I couldn't tell what it was on the map. Because... Where it was. It looks the same as the vending point- vending machine points. Right here. Somebody in the comments pointed out to me that one of these dots was actually the, the quest starting point. So let me see if I can get this working right. I fixed my map controls too, so everything should be much more easy to navigate through for me. Hmm. So some of these, they're just vending machines. But I think um, one of these ones might be the ones where we find the lost equipment. So if we have nothing to do, I think maybe that's something we can do. Well, we don't know yet because apparently we have to go here. So maybe something will happen when we get back to that point. Well, without further ado, we should get going then. I spent a few minutes just looking at the controls in general too. So I think I know a little bit better about what I can do now. I can float. Yeah, I know about that. Whew. I think we've earned a breather. Say 2B, I was hoping we could talk about our next move. I'm worried about the damage we took in that last battle with the machines. Maybe we should return to the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance? Sounds fine with me. All right, let's go back. You got it. All right, so that basically just sets my... It just sets my thing, right? My objective. Not even. It just sets the... Oh my gosh. It just sets the point. Yep, back to the camp. Well, uh, why not, I guess? But maybe on the way. If we could get the weapon, that would be pretty nice too. Yeah, it's one of these ones, I think. So, well, it's kind of on the way anyway. Yeah. Alright, we will slowly walk back. Mm hmm. Thank you for everyone who's been giving me a lot of tips, by the way. There's a lot to learn in the beginning here, so I'm trying my best to uh, catch up to all of the, the things I should know. But it is a little bit of a handful to learn. Right, sprinting. Okay, so I think I should have brought this up earlier when we saw Popola and Devola. But now that we saw some robots that had the facade masks and capes, I think we can confirm that, well, if there was any doubt, that yes, this is the same world as the one that Nier Gestalt took place in. Because I guess at the end of Nier Gestalt, oop, do I still remember how to fight? Sort of. Oh yes, one more thing that I think I won't do much anymore is repairing the androids because they seem to make the fights go by a lot faster. So, if I could get used to my own fighting first, that would be pretty cool. Oh. Okay, so if we weren't sure, we did get pretty much confirmation that this is the same world as near Gestalt. But by the end of Gestalt, basically... Pretty much everything died off, I guess, and um, Gestalt was in year 4000-ish, and we are in year 5000-ish. So it's been a thousand years since then. I don't know where the machine aliens came, like where did they come from? I don't know, but it's not quite the same world that we saw before anymore. Although there are still a lot of things that are reminiscent of what happened here before. Stuff like the facade stuff, and Popola and Devola. Hmm. They haven't done anything here, but they're part of the android resistant camp. But they're not made by the humans here. Are they? Well, maybe that's something we'll have to play more to find out. Are we getting near that point? Um Oh, we're right here. Oh, okay, so maybe this this long thing is the bridge. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll check out these four points and then I'll go back to the camp. 
<laughs> so even though I told 9S that we we're going back to the camp, we're actually gonna go on a little bit of a detour first. Alright. Sounds good with me. We reported to HQ that we saw a bunch of weird machines, but I guess we haven't gone back so far, huh? So maybe going back to that that space station place is something we want to do as well. Ooh. Remnants of the world. You know what's weird though? If this is the same world as Gestalt, we hardly saw any of this kind of stuff in Gestalt because I guess we were limited to such a small area. But if we were able to look beyond that small area, I guess this is what we would find. A lot of remnants of the old civilization, much more than we saw in Gestalt. Oh! I can open this one. Oh. Was that different from the ones we saw before or... I don't know, because I think the other ones that we couldn't open, they had um, they had a lock on them. But this one didn't seem so, so maybe it's not the same kind. Oh, really? Okay. It's very, very mechanized looking here. I was under the impression that we got dropped off at a really different place from the, the place that was in the demo. But if we're gonna retrieve our weapons, yeah, like it looks like the place that we were at before already. So I guess it wasn't that far away at all. Oh, it's very... Yeah, this area was pretty industrialized. And we got one of the access points here. Damn. Yeah. Going through the editing again, I think those androids that I repaired, they were really helping me, so... Gonna, gonna try to avoid that for the next foreseeable future. I also learned that you can quickly access things here. You can change weapons. Right, so the problem right now is that we have one weapon, the Virtuous Contract. But for the other weapon, we only have bare fists. So I guess that's why we're trying to get the other one back. Is it that dot over here? Oh! This is exactly the place we came from. Damn. There it is. Oh. Ah! But we don't have it equipped. Virtuous Treaty. I don't even remember having that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Weapons. 5%. So they're categorized into small or large swords and spears. Virtuous Treaty is considered a large sword. Why is it red? Virtuous Contract. They come in a set. Okay. So we, have, we can have two different sets here. Right. And judging by how the Virtuous Contract can be in either slot, I guess, um... Ah, the combo. Where it says combo LT5, HV2. I saw in the comments that LT5 means the combo is like 5 hits long if you use it as a light weapon. But if you use it as a heavy weapon, then it's 2. So, am I correct in assuming that the higher the number, the better? I guess so? Yeah, uh, fists are probably not that strong, so let's try the... So why can we not equip this? Can we? It's red. Ooh. First encounter with my lover. Is that a haiku? First encounter. Four? <laughs> Four of one? My lover. Four one three? Not really. <laughs> yeah, I should be checking the story for the other one too, huh? Virtuous contract. How long can I continue to protect what I love amidst this endless war? How long, I wonder. And we have a 9S and 2B background on this one too. What about the other one? Did it have a background like that? Why is it red? 
doesn't seem to be affecting me, so I'm not gonna pay too much attention to it. <laughs> okay. Special abilities. The samurai sword's pure white blade is not yet sullied by a single drop of blood. Oh, whoa, it counts how many enemies it's defeated? That's actually kind of cool. 24. A white sword like those carried by samurai of old looks flashy, but the blade is top notch. Well, this one has a special ability. Maybe it depends on how many enemies we defeat. But that makes me worried. Does that mean that if I use it more, it'll get dull or something? <laughs> I don't think so. Like, nothing I've seen gives me an indication that that's the case, but whatever. Okay, so that's one set. I guess for the other set, we can put the... Can we do that? Put the virtuous, co uh, virtuous treaty on light attack? Yeah. So now we just... Yeah, we just have two sets where we change between them. I don't know how I'm gonna... Okay. Yeah, you see, the sword's changing positions here. I'll just keep it like that. Oh, is that my body? Well, that wasn't somebody else's body. Whoa! My stuff! My previous stuff! Oh. Did I pick up a chip just now? Because I thought I saw something called auto... Auto something. Would that be under skills? Oh, there's a lot of like... Menu playing here, which is... It takes a while to get through. So where should I be looking for this? Chips. Where do I find chips again? Intel? No. Plug-in chips. Yeah, we need more slots. I know the guy back at the space station sold me slots, but I don't... I need to get back. How do we get back again? Using the vending machine or something? Auto weapon switch. I can't equip this. Oh, it's easy mode only. Auto use item plus one. Oh, do I not... Oh! Oh, okay, there we are. Recover 5% HP for every enemy defeated. 5%? For 10 slots? Have we not been using an auto heal thing so far? Because I was under the impression that we've been auto healing still this whole time. Oh. I also noticed that whenever we repaired a robot, or a machine, or no, 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 an android. Whenever we repaired a android, then our health goes back up too. Maybe that's what's been keeping me alive this whole time, because I don't remember using a single healing item. Oop. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Oh, this might be good too. Oh, counter an enemy attack to send back 30%. Uh, okay. This is all really nice to look at. But right now, we don't have any slots. So let's not look at this for now. <laughs> we need slots. We need to buy slots somewhere. Okay. Um, is there any... Are we allowed to go back to the places that we've been to before here? In this factory place? Mm, well, we can try. No, I think it's sealed off. Oh, we came through maybe this door. Yeah. Copper ore. Oh, we can. Oh. But I imagine that there's not really too... What the hell? How are you people dying here? I laughed at the enemy's strength at an empty theater. More retrieving. Less repairing. How did they die here? <gasps> oh, the effects from the androids. Maybe that's what's been keeping me alive. Auto healing. Okay, is there actually anything of note here? Seems like there might be something here. Is that part of the place we're in right now? Oh, there's one here too. How did we not see that one? Uh, well, since we're here- wait. This is like on different level- Uh... Hang on. Whoa, it's really low. It's like really far underground. This one is pretty underground as well. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't go to those ones then. Because I don't actually think I can access that below underground right now. Yeah, we gotta go heal up in the resistance place. What the hell, man? 9S is following me being like, oh my god, Tubi. 
So uh, let's get going. Yeah, let's get going and get back to the camp. Subquests. You can accept subquests from clients marked as circle all over the world. Destinations are indicated as a diamond on the mini map. All right, cool. I think we might have a few on the map right now already. Hello, everybody. My fellow androids, we're back. Anyone miss me? Maybe not. All right, okay. Not really much attention here. Ooh, I do want to go see the shop first because if you sell... Do you sell... Uh, spaces. Upgrade my pod. Don't have that kind of stuff. I want... Yes, yeah, storage space. I think this is important for us. How strong is the pod? Like, how much... How much attention should I be paying to that? I don't know yet, but I know that I want some... Storage. Yes. Oh, they get more expensive later on. Wait, shoot. Oh no, I thought I got ripped off. <laughs> no, everything is fine. I didn't get ripped off, but they do get more and more expensive as time goes on. Damn, okay, well... We got 16 plus. That's... It's better than nothing. How do we fuse... These chips? Oh, maybe we can like... Make it so that they take up less space. By putting them together. Oh, they're not all... Uniform. See, these two have the same effects. But the cost... This one's better. Oh, there might be some degree of like randomness to this. Okay. Oh. Hey, this counter plus two is way better than the counter one I have right now, isn't it? Damn it, and I bought it from that guy too. It got ripped off. <laughs> uh... I'll leave this part alone for the time being. Let me see if I can just... Fill up my spaces to begin with. Plug-in chips. Hey, what would happen if I try to take out my OS chip? That wouldn't be good, would it? <laughs> Removal means death. Yeah. So, let's see. We have... Yeah, this one should be better. Which one was the counter chip? Was it this one? Let me take that out. Oh, this is organized not nicely. Shockwave? We can put on the weak one. Sure. There's some free spaces in how I'm doing it right now though, so maybe... Maybe I want to optimize the usage a little bit more. Let me just see what chips I have. Auto use item? I think this is a good one. Let's put it back on. Mm, evade moving speed? If we don't have much else, I would love to have that. Evade range? Not bad, I guess. Um, I'll add the moving speed for now. Oh, it is a bit... Getting a bit cramped here for the space. Ah, I'm not doing this nicely enough. Like the... Um, there's always little spaces when I do it. Optimize it. Oh, is there supposed to be a little space? God damn, I'm so dumb. Which one did I just take off? Charge attack? Storage use. 56 out of 56 on the right side. Okay, well, I think we have the maximum amount of stuff that we could have for the amount of space we have, so that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Feeling good. Feeling good. Anybody here looking for anything from me in particular? Anemone? 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 Ah, it's you. I heard from Jackass about your encounter in the desert. Good work. We don't have much to offer in thanks, but I've readied a room for you here. Oh? Oh! It's the least we can do. Feel free to use it however you like. <laughs> however you like? Hey, thanks! Oh, well thank you. Thank you. Was that like classified information or something? The fact that we saw a weird anime robot? Cause people don't seem to be referring to that event. They're just saying, hey, good work in general for me defeating some robots in the desert. This is pretty big. You sure it's okay for us to get a room like this? We have permission, remember? Plus, 
We'll probably be stationed here for a while, so a bed won't go amiss. Then I guess there's no point turning it down. Alright! Ooh, I have to share a room with a little boy. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> At least the beds are far apart. And I can sleep on whichever one I want, apparently. Yeah, it's a nice little room. We can sleep if we want. Sure. Oh my god, 9S. Please. Sure. It's always good. <laughs> we need some blankets here. Because 9S is totally looking up my skirt. Whoa, hey! Was I here before? Well, I have it now. Okay, cool. Maybe taking a break increases my... Or heals me too, so that would be good. Okay, so the next thing I want to try doing is... How do we... How do we go back to the space station? Ah, okay. So the crappy ones won't let me go back. No. Okay. The nice one will. Do we have any other... Quests for the time being? Maybe not? They said it would be a diamond. I don't see any diamonds on my... Ah! No, that's a custom marker. <laughs> uh, how do I... Take it out, take it out. I don't know how to remove it. Dang it. Yeah, that's... Okay. Still gotta get used to the map here. Oh, that's the one at the freaking factory thing. Okay. Um, I don't see any subquests. No. We might be wandering around a little bit aimlessly right now then. Okay, well, maybe that's a good time for me to go back to the space station. Bunker. Ooh. Bye, Ninus. So why is this place black and white again? Are they trying to tell me they don't have that kind of technology <laughs> in space? Color technology? Oh. Quest. Hey, when I look on the map, it's not a diamond. It's just a thing. Actually, there's something I needed to ask you. We need your help improving the network environment between the bunker and the surface. Doing so will allow us to carry out our operations in a more efficient manner. First, I need you to transport the required materials to the leader of the resistance camp. I'll have an operator explain how to obtain the materials once you touch down. Yes, Commander. Improving communications. Okay, everyone's very no-nonsense around here. So why does she get to look different? She's an android too, right? But she looks very different from the rest of us, and I'm just wondering how she got into that position. Have any updates on the desert data? Desert data. Council of Humanity. Mm -hmm. Could you give me some additional details? Hmm. All right. I did see some other little red circles around here, so maybe we'll find more quests if we look around the station carefully. Oh my gosh, why do I never... That elevator always trips me up. Okay. Well, that's my room. Do I want to check it out? I'm not that rich yet, so I'm still not going to buy anything. <laughs> I'm so poor. Dude! Speedy robots! Hangar. Hmm. There's stuff for me in the hangar. Is that it then? There's nothing else on the map. No. No map mode? Alright.
We are in space, but we're not on the moon. So the humans are just not near us. To B? Is that you? The commander of the Resistance Army, Resistance Camp, Anemone. She had a similar reaction when she first saw me too. So I wonder if we we have some sort of reputation. Yes, but Thank goodness, my name is 16D. D? My instructor, 11B, was one of your squad mates in the assault on the abandoned factory. I don't suppose she... She was shot down during the battle. I... I see. What a shame. She was the closest thing I had to a mentor. She was so strong and admirable. What happened to her body? I don't know. I know it isn't my place to be asking you this. But... Well... If you happen to run across anything of hers, would you mind bringing it back to me? It's not a priority or anything, just if you have the time. Alright. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Pod, do we have any information about 11B's black box? Negative. 11B's black box has yet to be recovered. She was shot down near the abandoned factory, right? You mean the one that we just went to and left? Alright. <laughs> hmm. Pe okay, so I thought I thought emotions were prohibited. But these people, these androids are really quite sentimental. Yeah. I'll try my best. Is that not how I get out? No! I don't get to use the freaking flight unit whenever I want. If I want to go back to Earth, I just use that little... Oh. I just use the little escalator. Vending machine thing. For the time being though, that might be it for this location. Alright, cool. Cool. We gotta find the blue thing. Yeah, the blue Tetris looking thing. That's how we get out of here. Well, there's one black dot here. Because there's a person here. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work with the R&D. And back down we go. No mail? Nope. Bye, Ninas. <laughs> Right. Does any operator want to contact me about how to get those materials? There we go. Operator to 2B. Come in, 2B. We need you to collect the materials required to improve the network environment. You're going to need a rusty bolt, a small gear, and a spring. You should be able to find them on small sized enemies. Once you have everything, please take it to the resistance leader, Anemone. Understood. Cool. I know it's a bit of a pain, but good luck. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. No, unlike Gestalt, everything here is such a pleasure. Operator 60 to 2B. Yes. Looks like you found all the necessary parts to improve our <laughs> network environment. Nice work. You can conclude your mission by bringing everything over to Anemone. All part of the plan. I did that all in advance on purpose. I heard about this from the bunker. These are the parts we need for our network structure, right? Thanks for bringing them over. It's not much, but I have a reward for you. Oh, but don't tell the commander. It's probably against regulations. What? Simple gadget, medium recovery, gold. Thank you, thank you. Um, pff. she said it was a pain to recover all of that stuff, but oh my gosh. 2B to operator 6-0. Material handover complete. Copy that. Good work. I see the commander's as much of a slave driver as ever. It's like she was built to be as efficient and hard-assed as possible. Oh, she's not so bad. Uh, are you serious? Totally serious. The commander
Commander actually lets a lot of things slide on the side. Like, did you know that she leaves piles of clothes strewn everywhere? <laughs> the cleaning team is so sick of it. Oh, and she never performs regular maintenance on herself. A lot of the hard-ass nature you mention is just for show. How do you know all this? <laughs> I can't tell you that. Operator 6-0, out. What the heck was all that about? <laughs> It's gonna be something like they're secretly dating or something. That's why she knows all of these intimate details. Oh my god. Um, I'm wondering if the weapons here are worth buying. I wish there was an easy way to compare the stats, but um, I don't think there is. Which is a bit of a shame, and frankly, these weapons are a little bit expensive. I know I can afford them, but I want to focus on getting chips, because those are good, easy, passive ways for me to increase my ability. Because getting a nice weapon, that's something active. I have to actively be good to make use of it. But chips, they're all passive. I love stuff like that. <laughs> we also don't have enough stuff to upgrade anything. Titanium alloy? Not that again. Beast hide? Maybe from a moose or boar? Well, we'll be on the lookout. Because I am... The stories? do seem like they could be something interesting. I don't know yet, but maybe? Maybe? Oh, maybe maybe the virtuous... What is it? Maybe there's a... God damn it. There's a special ability because I upgraded it, not because I... Yeah, not because I used it a lot. <laughs> right, this is level 2. Yeah. Okay, well, we're back to the starting point. I was gonna say that, you know, it's not really a drag to collect items and stuff because the gameplay is such a pleasure so far. I might get annoyed later, but I'm still in like the first five hours of playing right now, so... Pretty happy with everything I've seen so far. Oh my goodness! Operator to 9S. This is 9S. Go ahead. I have an incoming message for 2B and 9S from the commander. Initiating playback. 2B, 9S. We've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. Their black boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location of their signals, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. All. End transmission. Hmm. I heard something about that back at the Resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. Okay. Sounds good to me. Uh, so for like the fifth time of me trying to get to the end of my sentence there, this is all such a pleasure to play, and I'm not finding it a drag, but I was kind of sad that I had the items already, because we handed in the quest right away, which means I didn't need to collect anything, but now I'm happy again because we got a quest again. Finally! Been trying to get this sentence out for like, the past 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. If we look at the map, can we clearly see? Okay, so that's the problem, the black box signals. What about, um, 11... 11B. Jesus. The factory. So we do have a reason to go back to the factory. And now I'm kind of glad I didn't look at it to begin with. Because I don't know. If we went there first, maybe... Maybe it's the sort of thing that even if we find it, we're not allowed to activate it. Hmm. Well, okay. Um, a lot of you, or a few of you, mentioned to me that I should be careful about finishing main quests because... They do, they will lock up my side quests, but I think we're a little bit early right now, so we don't have to worry about that. And I'll go for the one right here first. Sound good? Alright, alright. Ah, okay. So the side quest, there is only one diamond. But if it's a main quest, there's four diamonds making one diamond. Cool, cool, alright. Get him back here again. I am dying to test out my sword that I got back. <laughs> oh, I'm never gonna stop collecting those. Hello? Oh! Be careful, 9S. Don't bump into them. Hmm. Yeah, we've been- Hey! Can we go past here? I thought we were here before. Oh, but it wasn't- Uh... No, it this looks area. Like our surface route's been cut off. Maybe we can get through from underground. Definitely. We came here before and it was locked. So they were they were locking it out for me. All right. 
Even though it's so close. <laughs> we can't climb over, no. Oh, beautiful. Watching Tubi move is like art. Oh my goodness. So Tubi, those machines out in the desert look just like androids, right? Right. But we androids were modeled after our human creators. So why would machines try to look like us? Hmm. There's no point trying to work out unsolvable problems. I suppose. Well, it's nice to think about it anyway. So androids were modeled after their human creators. Specific ones? Or do you mean the general humanoid shape? Not quite sure yet. Yeah, I guess they just mean the general humanoid shape because there's a lot of people that look like 2B, a lot of people that look like 9S. Why did- okay, 9S looks like a kid though, like why would they pick a kid design? <laughs> oh well, maybe because he's a scanner model, so... Agility? Oh, what's that black dot over there? Oh. I can get up? Oh, yes! Yes, 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 I know that too. The pod? The flashlight. Alright. Okay. It's not like it uses electricity or anything though, so maybe I'll just keep the flashlight on the whole time. This is not the one we need to go up on. But since we can, I'm gonna go up here anyway. Whoa. What is this? The forest of myth? Oh. Virtuous dignity. Another virtuous thing. Wow, it's just inside a tree. A white spear used by samurai of the east. Well, seems like it's better than the treaty. Doesn't it? No, the treaty is way better. No. <laughs> Wait. Uh, yeah, okay, well. Nice to have anyway, I guess. The elegant white spear was crafted by a tyrant as a gift for his wife, whose parents he had killed years earlier. She slipped it under the bed they shared, then later used it to run him through 30, 30 times. Oh my god. Well, uh, all right. <laughs> oh, that's a spear. That's my first spear. Mhm. Mm well, nice to collect it anyway, although probably we're not going to be using a lot of the ones that we find. There's like chains. There's chains on this tree. Well, it seems like that's the only thing here. Wow, lucky me! Found a sword after coming out of the sewers. Sweet. I go here. Is 9S looking at my skirt? Similar sort of location. Is this the one that lets me go to the... Black box? We don't know because we don't have map information here. Yeah, it seems like it though. Seems like it. Alright, cool. Well, if we can. Oh, what are those things? Oh, those are quests back at the camp. Maybe? There's one here. Gotta remember to pick that up. Let's try going here first so that we can get some of the markers along the way. Or, no, maybe we can't get that one. <gasps> Is that Disney World? Wow. Why are you suddenly connecting to the network now? <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, the Ferris wheel is down. But the fact that it's still sort of semi-stand- What? Are those machines? Yeah. 
amusement park. Are we gonna have to kill clowns now? What are those? <laughs> what the? Well, this is weird. Let's be happy together, together, together. So are these robots that have gone a different sort of, different set of human data than the ones from the desert? Screw this, they're not attacking me. I'm not attacking them. But I'll never get the data for them if I don't attack them. <laughs> decisions, decisions. I'll leave them alone for now. They're not related to my mission. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I thought we could go out there. Okay. Go in here. Nope. Hmm. Well, y'all have a nice day now. <laughs> Mail. This will be really bad if they decide to randomly turn on us. Because <laughs> there's so many of them here. Ah! We should get to the red dot. The access point. Hey! Shh! Don't shout! Can I help you? Oh. Oh, no you can't, but thank you anyway. Yes, I can sell some of my stuff. The stuff that says... Is good for money. Because that's all it's good for. I don't have that much of that stuff, though. <laughs> Not at all. Torn book. Machine oil. Yeah, I can sell this. But it's only 500. Sell my OS chip? That's probably not a good idea. Ooh, some of these chips are worth quite a bit. But I might want to use them in the future. Okay, this, okay, the deadly heal one? This might be good. This actually might be good. This is good for mobs, but not good for boss fights, I don't think. We'll have to get more slots. Even if it costs a lot of money. You're welcome. Is that a lunar tear? It's glowing without anything. Oh, damn, they just have it in the random corner of this place. Lovely choker. Sounds kinky. Can we put that on? <laughs> Used by humans. Okay, it's only good for money, unfortunately. No, we can't. We can't have this. I feel like it totally would fit with 2B's fashion style, though. <laughs> Oh my god, these crazy people in their crazy Japanese games. This is what happens when you when you leave the weebs unchecked. <laughs> they start doing whatever they want. Anyway, okay, well, um... That seems to have been it. I'm wondering about this area here, though. If we... If we go through that loop again, maybe there's a way for us to get over to the other side? Not particularly, I don't think. No, it just ends off here. Okay, well, in that case, whatever. Oh, no. Thought that was gonna be a thing, but nope. Thank you. Thank you for the confetti. Hi! What's cooking? Mother machine. Throw down your weapons! Surrender to love! Hey, hey! Oh, what fun! Oh, what fun! <laughs> How many of these could we talk to? 
Let's be happy together. 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 Can I talk to these ones? No. Well, uh, sure. It's not a bad thing. Let's be happy together. That's a message that pretty much anybody can get behind. Okay, one for me, one for you, 9S. <laughs> Alright. Um... If I look over there, there's a red dot over there. Did I miss that area or what? The minimap is so small, I can't tell. No, this is back to that area again! Gotta zoom in a little bit. Oh, but we don't have map data, which makes this really hard. Can't go to that one. Can't go to that one. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to get to it in due time. Oh! Okay, good thing we came back. Where does this corridor lead? Machine on a break? Break time. Okay. Yup. A healthy cigarette break for every robot. 9S made a comment though, so I'm a little bit worried here. <laughs> There's nobody here. You guys need to go to the more populated areas. Where is the dot? Where is the dot? Oh. We're getting resistance signals from that building over there. Oh, so maybe that gigantic gate, it's locked. So we're going around it right now. But I never checked if that gate was locked or not, so we don't know until we go back later. Never mind. Yeah, that's definitely based off system time. To be. Remember that message I sent you about Jupiter fortune telling? I had the girls in R&D do it for me, and I got the worst readings possible for health, work, and love. But that's when I realized something. That stuff is a bunch of occult crap. I mean, how are you supposed to figure out your destiny by observing another planet? Ridiculous. I'll forge my destiny all on my own. That's the truest desire of every Yorha woman ever anyway, right? <laughs> Sad face. I'll forge my destiny all on my own. Probably something a lot of androids, a lot of machines, are thinking. Probably a good time for a save. Right. We need a way through. Let's look around for a route we can take. Okay. Shattered earring. It's <laughs> a random little hole here. All right. Hey, would you happen to know where I could go? Um. Uh, it feels like I can get beyond the fence, because there's items there. But it's a matter of figuring out how to actually get beyond. Oh, how about with the house here? Oh, pff, there's not even a gate here! Oh my god! <laughs> nope. Iron ore casually sitting above a box. Hello? Are you alive? It's moving. I think it's moving. Can we ride this? Probably unsafe to do so. Oh, I love how we can actually just parkour onto this. Beautiful. Skill cell? All right. Ah! Was there any more? Can we get into the pause maybe? That would be kind of cool. Oh! Ah! No. Okay. Another one. We need to figure out how to open that thing, man. I don't want to come back to all these places. Um, alright. Well... No? Oh, come on. How the heck do we get out of here? So we can get into the fence, but we can't get on the- No! It's gotta be with the pods here. It's gotta be. Maybe I just have to change my camera angles so I can see this properly. Come on, it's gotta be. 
Okay, I can't change my camera angles here. But what if... What if I try, like... No! Okay, that definitely wasn't it then, because there was an invisible wall. Hmm... We can try looking at the map. It's pretty small. Doesn't really... It's not as detailed as we would like it to be. Maybe this is not it then? Oh, I don't want to hit him. <laughs> no, we can't get past the thing anyway. Um, hmm, maybe this is just an area we can't get past? Seems a little weird. No, it can't be because there's an item there, but maybe... Well, uh, let's go back and try the gate and confirm that you actually can't go through the gate. Maybe there's another route that will take us deeper inside. Yeah. Okay. Well, that means I gotta go back to that area then. The answer must be somewhere there. Okay, I can stand on the pod. I can stand on the pods. Oh! And then this incrementally goes up. Maybe this is it. Nine S is distracting me. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. Which way? Danger is beyond here. Broken. Junk. Danger. <laughs> Junk. And danger. Well, we still gotta go. Still gotta go. We're here for the other androids. Well, best case scenario, they're actually okay. For some reason, they haven't been making contact with HQ. Worst case scenario, they've turned on us. So we gotta prepare to fight them. Let's dance! Let's dance! Let's play! Let's play! Let's play! play. Whoa! Let's play! Let's sing! The camera angles are sometimes a little bit jittery. Mm. Um, don't really want to play with you, but okay. It's just confetti. These machines are heavily armed. We'll regret it later if we let them escape. So let's take them out. What? Really? 9S! Are you sure about this? Because it's not attacking us. I am perfectly happy with not attacking it. <laughs> Somebody died here! Well, I'll have a look around- Oh my god. There are corpses here, okay? This is not good. No, we can't get out. Oh, we might have to fight it. Another one? Alright. What if we go up- Do you really think it's a good idea to leave that tank behind? If they aren't hostile, fighting them is a waste of time. Ah, okay, so this is a decision I can make here. Well, they aren't hostile. When they become hostile, we can fight them, alright? But I do want the stuff here. Plus! It's going in a track right now, so as long as the tracks don't go out of this place, shouldn't be a big problem. I thought that we might have to end up fighting them for sure, but judging by what they said, it seems like it's totally valid for me to not do so, so I am not gonna do it. Yeah, there's nothing going on here. Well, um, happy birthday! Have a nice celebration! See you guys around. It does mean that we don't get that intel data, though. That part I'm a little bit mm, about, because I do want it. Okay, we have some tracks here. Is that a train? What's this? Analysis. It is a device that propels humans on rails at high speeds for the purposes of amusement. <laughs> it was commonly referred to as a roller coaster. 
Humans sure are strange creatures. I hate roller coasters. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, 2B? Yes? People who know me well usually call me Nines, so... Oh. So what do you think? Of? I mean, <laughs> if you want to call me Nines, it's totally okay. I'm good. <laughs> oh. Um... Alright. Whoa! Excuse me! That's not cool! <laughs> they actually hurt quite a bit. Oh my god. Okay, these ones are actually hostile, so I have to fight them. Why is 2B so socially awkward? Like, just anti-social, period. Oh! Okay, I can't die here. I can't, like, fall off the cart. Okay, good to know, good to know. Oh my god. I can't see what's happening. Well, we made it out. Alert. <laughs> Multiple resistance members detected beneath this room. Good thing I had that auto-use thing. Yeah, I, I think I know why there's so many dead people here. Because I almost died just now. Oh, That was a generic one. This is a person. A tough battle at a religious mountain. I cannot change my camera angles. That's not good. Oh, okay, so when I retrieve the body, there's the auto-healing thing. If I wait for that to finish blinking, it's gonna give me health, right? Come on! Or I could just retrieve this body. A greedy soldier couldn't even get a hit in on Ground of Steel. Yep, there was my full health. Maybe I want that deadly heal thing. I'm just thinking here, because I came pretty close to dying just now. Uh, I don't think I would have actually died because I have a lot of... I have the auto thing, but... Yeah, I wasn't doing too hot there with the... The angles and stuff. So if we could add in deadly heal... That would be pretty cool. I could use a second thing, but I don't have enough time. I don't feel like looking that much into it right now. Would it be defense? Oh, okay, this is good. After six seconds of not taking damage. 0.6%. This is good. But what am I taking out in favor of it? Something with a seven, hopefully. Anything with a seven here? Shockwave? Yeah, I don't think that's too necessary. Okay, damage dealt and received. That's not super necessary either. If we can take this out for something that will actually give us a benefit, I think it's better if we take it out. Save points. Again, not entirely necessary, the HUD stuff. Moving speed? Also kind of not necessary. It's nice, but we already move really fast. Yeah, okay, so we took out three. Let's try taking out Shockwave. And we will equip... Auto Heal. Ah, oh, but I have one slot. One slot that's just doing nothing. Do I have a HUD chip that's one slot? Nope. Well, we will just continue going like this. Alright. Auto healing will be good though. Yup. Uh. <laughs> Resistance members? Oh my god. What the hell? Our records don't say anything about a machine like this. Y level 15. Maybe I came here a little bit too early, who knows. 
Observe, okay? Let's... Can you aim? I'm scared. Whoa! I am, I am scared. Remember, I can evade. It's kind of blocking everything, though. It's not... Yeah, it's not doing anything. Oh! Oh, I have to... I have to, like... Block carefully. Yup. Remember, evading is a thing. Evading is a thing. I'm just telling myself. Oh, why won't it lock on anymore? Am I doing something wrong? Probably want to heal. Hang on, hang on. How do I use it? I can't seem to lock on anymore. Was that part of a thing that I had before? Jesus! I need to hit it. Oh, my angles are restricted. I can't... Well, this makes it really hard for me to kill it, so I'm gonna go on the defensive. Is it possible for me to... Jesus. Which one's me? Which one's 9S? Jeez! I need to get in, I need to get in. Yes, okay. Oh my god. Ah! Joe! Auto heal, please. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I don't think I was prepared for this. What? Begin hacking? How do I hack? Wait! What is- Oh, 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 okay. Oh, I should have expected this, but it's doing all sorts of like weird different game mode things again. It's trying to hack us. If we take hacking damage, it'll affect our bodies as well. Well, that's not good. <laughs> to be. And that's why. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's why so many of our friends are now decorations on this beautiful lady's dress. Those look like corpses. Seriously being attacked with dead androids? Wait, I don't think. To be, I'm detecting black box signals. Oh. They dead. They've been turned into weapons. All right, this ends now. We have to kill them. They're not our friends anymore. And I would like to get a pick me up here, please. Oh wow! Look at the map. Look at how many there are here. We're not the first to challenge this thing. And if things don't go well, we won't be the last either. Put them all last. Oh, jeez! More. More. There's only more and more. Of course, if at any time you notice that the camera angle kind of seems not optimal, it's because I can't control it. Oh! Dude! Oh, I gotta avoid it for the next five seconds. Was that the good... Oh, did I do that one right? Did I have to attack it? I don't know. Alright. If I get hit by that thing... Mm, okay, that was the right way to do it. If I get hit... Jesus! I gotta stop getting hit by it. I gotta just... 
Look at the map. Use that to guide my movements. I've almost analyzed the enemy's hacking pattern. I'm going to try to hack it back. Keep it busy. You got it. Well, hurry the hell up. That ain't doing shit. Alert. Saturation attack triggered by enemy consciousness data. Failure to destroy it quickly may lead to serious damage in memory regions. What? We're gonna hurry up. <laughs> oh, this is not. We're not hurrying. Someone help. Someone help. Oh. Is it crying? Or laughing? No, it's laughing. It's laughing. So the whole counter thing, I don't think I've done it so far, because how do I counter those- Jeez! Nope, now's my chance. I think now's my chance. Let's get behind it. I don't like being in front. No hacking, no hacking. Oh. Okay. No hacking, I said. Dude, where's my auto? Yes, thank you. Jesus! Oh my god. Come on. What is that? What is that? Pod! Affirmative. for the assist. Oh, you mean the hacking? No worries. Us scanners are pretty good at that kind of thing. I've got your back anytime. Good to know. Good to know. We have to save those androids. Can we? I'm sorry, 2B. Their circuits are fried. I think they were only being kept alive by that enemy. Oh. Damn. Well, that was not... I mean, it wasn't the best way it could have gone, but I didn't die, so... Who cares? <laughs> um... We're probably doing something bad again. Yeah. The... that big machine, it was crying, it was like, stop, stop doing this. But we killed it. <sighs> well, not quite sure what to feel about that so far. I mean, good for me that I'm not dead. I wouldn't want to be killed by it either. And we avenged all of our android friends and companions too. Comrades. So that was definitely not a bad thing that we did. Near. <laughs> the first name is the username, and the second name is the Steam name, I guess. <sighs> At least we found out what happened in here. Hmm. So, um... What is it? That machine had some pretty weird things to say, huh? It's almost like it had actual emotion. The machines don't have feelings. You said that yourself. Yeah, I... I guess. They're catching on pretty fast. 
Yeah. You guys are pretty intelligent yourself. What can we do, though? We were made for a purpose. So all we can do is fulfill that purpose. It's not like we can defect from the humans and be like, I am going rogue. We could, but what's the point of doing that? And what's the point of this hallway? 